Hello, in this video we're going to do several supply and demand math problems that involves both curves shifting. The market demand is given as follows and the market supply is as follows. Suppose there's a change in consumer income and production technology. Consumers are now willing to buy six more units of the good at any given price and sellers are now willing to sell three more units of the good at any given price. What happens to the equilibrium price and quantity? So let's first look at equilibrium before the change in income and technology. So we're going to set the quantity demanded equal to the quantity supplied. So 40 minus 2p equals minus 5 plus p. Adding 5 to both sides. And then adding plus 2p to both sides. And now dividing through by 3, the equilibrium price is $15. We're going to take this $15 and plug it back either into the demand or supply equation. Plugging it into the supply equation, we see the equilibrium quantity is 10 units. So once again, our original market demand and market supply. And so we want to see what happens when consumers are willing to buy six more units of the good at any given price, and sellers are now willing to sell three more units of the good at any given price. So let's incorporate those changes in our demand and supply equations. So first notice here that the demand curve shifts right by 6 units and the supply curve shifts right by 3 units. So both demand and supply are shifting to the right. An increase in demand and increase in supply causes the equilibrium quantity to increase. An increase in demand causes the price to rise while an increase in supply causes the price to fall. Because the demand curve shifts more to the right than the supply curve, we're going to notice here that the equilibrium price will increase. Let's do the math to show that. So after the change in income and technology, we're going to change our demand curve. Demand equation will look something like this. So consumers are willing to buy six more units at any given price. So we're going to add a plus six over here. And then on the seller side, given the supply equation, we said sellers are willing to sell three more units at any given price. So we're going to add a plus three over here on the right-hand side for the supply equation. And simplifying those up, those equations up, we have the following. And once again, solving for the price. We see the price is $16, so the price did go up a little bit here. And in terms of the equilibrium quantity, plug this $16 back into either the demand or supply equation, and we see that the equilibrium quantity is 14. So to recap here, the demand curve shifted to the right by 6 units. The supply curve shifted right by 3 units. Because demand shifted right more than supply, the equilibrium price is higher, and we saw it increase from $15 to $16. The equilibrium quantity is higher. It increased from 10 to 14 units. Let's do another problem, same market demand and market supply, but this time suppose the change in consumer income and production technology leads to the following. Consumers are now willing to buy only three more units of the good at any given price, and sellers are now willing to sell three more units of the good at any given price. So in this example, the demand curve and supply curve are shifting right by the same amount. So incorporating those changes into our demand and supply equations, simplifying Solving for the price, the equilibrium price is $15, and the equilibrium quantity is 13 units. So the demand curve shifted right by 3 units, and the supply curve shifted right by 3 units. So the increase in demand puts upward pressure on the price. The increase in supply puts downward pressure on the price. And since both curves are shifting by the same amount, one effect is offset by the other effect. So because demand shifted right by the same amount of supply, the equilibrium price will be unchanged. One effect offsets the other effect, remaining at $15. The equilibrium quantity is higher, increasing from 10 to 13 units. So an increase in demand will increase the equilibrium quantity. An increase in supply will increase the equilibrium quantity. So taken together, the, the equilibrium quantity will definitely be higher. And it is increased from 10 to 13. And in our last example, 
Consumers are now willing to buy only one more unit of the good at any given price, and sellers are now willing to sell four more units of good at any given price. So here supply is shifting right more than demand. Incorporating those changes in our demand and supply equations. And simplifying. The equilibrium price here is $14. And the equilibrium quantity is going to be 13. Plugging this 14 back into either the demand or supply. The demand curve shifted to the right by one unit. The supply curve shifted right by four units. Because supply shifted right by more than the demand curve did, the equilibrium price fell, and it decreased from the original pr price of $15 to now $14. And in terms of the equilibrium quantity, it is higher, increasing from 10 to 13. All right, that's my examples.